Um, okay, so I tell you what. So 08717 double two double three to four. We're talking about Chelsea. We're talking about the academy players. When Frank came in, mm. Frank had a, had, a, had a transfer ban. Obviously, Eden Hazard left, and and with that, he had of course Mason out uh, at Derby. Yeah, he, he had Mason there. He yeah. had Tamori with him at Derby as well. And both yeah. those lads come back. Reese James was given a chance. Tammy was given a chance. Mm. And Chelsea's academy, for the first time, I think it's fair to say under Rona Bramovic, was really showing what the academy can do. Chelsea have got a brilliant academy. Yeah. Chelsea produce a lot of young players. There's a lot of young players now playing Premier League football, not just not just here, there's championship football, but abroad as well that have come through the academy. Yeah. But of course, with the money, it's been harder for them to come through. Yeah, it's always been like that, though, has been it? It's been that much harder for them to come through. Yeah, but... Um, oh, afraid. you were there, Carl. So you were there when Roman turned up, Yeah, right? so obviously, I, I was... Um, what was I, 18 at the time... 19. What was it like? When did you find out that, that, that a billionaire is buying Chelsea? What, what was it I like? I don't think it was going to affect me, really, because you don't see the bigger picture as a young lad. You just think, oh, I've got in the team now. I'm trying, trying to stake a claim. Next season is going to be a great so season. So Roman came in 2003. Yeah. Right? It was 2003, wasn't mm -hmm. it? You were 18 at the time? Something like that, Something yeah. Like that. 18, had you already 19. made your debut? Or yeah, you, yeah. You had? Yeah, I'd had a season and then um, looking into the new season. We were in some financial difficulties, yeah. so he came in at the right mm -hmm. time. And um, obviously, when he, when he comes in, he, he got to... He wanted instant success. So I think he gave Ranieri um, a year That's to, right. to win the league straight away. That's right. And he brought the players in straight away. Bought, so yeah. all the players then, the young players, didn't really get a look in. Um, so I, I, was, I, I went on loan. And um, I didn't want to go like reluctantly, mm -hmm. you know. Um, loans, it didn't work for me. I needed to Where feel were like you? Where I, did needed, you go I went to Charlton. Right. Before that, I went to um, Wolves, but that was a punishment from um, um, Ranieri because I kept do? on coming in late. What did you, why were you late? Oh, no, I know. It's just very unprofessional. So why, how old how, how, were you? 17, 18? Yeah? 8, 17, 18. What, yeah. what were you doing? Why were you late? You can't I be just, late, Colin. Yeah, I know. It was, just, it was just my mentality at the time, wasn't right. it? Okay, fair enough. It wasn't You're good. a young kid. You make young mistakes. Kid, yeah, making yeah, yeah, mistakes, yeah, yeah. but I kept on repeatedly coming in late. And um, he didn't want to teach me a lesson, so he sent me away. Um, for a month, right. called, me, called me back. Uh, first game back, scored against Sunderland. Remember yeah. that? I don't know if you remember that. It was up at the light, stadium Sunderland of light. light. Right. Turns on a swivel, left foot, bang. Um, did you mean it? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course. That's oh, when I was in. I was in my. Pr no, I wasn't no, in my prime. Yet. In your prime I wasn't in my prime. Anyway. But I was on my way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But um, it's one of those ones there. Like when when he came in, I thought, okay, I I I'll still be involved and I'll still get my chance, but. Um, obviously, when Ranieri sent me on loan to Charlton, he wanted me to go and get some game time and experience. I thought it would still be there at the end of the season, but came second that season. That's right. I, I returned at the end of the season, um, and then Mourinho came in. That's right. And uh, after that, it was just, the rest is history, really, because I went again on loan. He said... Um, he Didier, have, came, did Didier, Didier came in. Didier came in. It was, good Johnson um, was still there. Yeah, Good Johnson was still there. Was that, was, I think Zola was still there. Yeah. Zola, Zola, Zola just Zola left. left. Zola just left, yeah. Zola left, So yeah. there, we had a few Jimmy players. Like left Mutu, as well. I think Mutu had come Mutu in. Mutu came in. So there was no space for me to um, try and home in my talents and try and grow within a, a great Chelsea side at the time. Um, so it was, just, it, was just, it was just like that. So I did accept it. I went on loan to Aston Villa. Um, but I just never settled in mm. when I went on loan anywhere, really. I didn't use my loans like how a, a Tamari or um, a Tammy Abraham, yeah. they used their loans brilliantly. And back then, you've got to understand as well, when um, a player went on loan, the player care wasn't there. So I, would no, I didn't even get contacted by anyone at Chelsea when I was young. I didn't really now get... Now they monitor the progress. Now they monitor yeah. the progress. Yeah. So yeah. it was yeah. really different. So once I went up to Birmingham, that was it. I didn't hear from anyone. I had to get on with it. So you felt you felt completely alienated and cut off from yeah, the club at the time. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Well, that I mean, things have changed, and they, and they do monitor. And there's actually a, there's a there's a whole there's a team of play of, of scouts oh, and people loads. that now for, I know Eddie Newton used to head that team up at yeah, Chelsea. Yeah, Carlo. I think Carlo Carlo's Cudicini, involved as well. Yeah, yeah. A few. Um, I think Paolo Ferreira as well. He he goes and looks at the players mm -hmm. and checks the loan players are all right and sees them if they've got everything they need. I wish I had that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, maybe yeah. I could have made my loan um, an ex a success. But anyway, what I'm what I'm saying, I I, I just don't want to see um, Chelsea players, the young Chelsea players, being shunned. Um, I know that there's Reese Reese James has made it in there now. Nice. And he's a part of the team. Uh, um, Mason Mount, um, even Christensen. 
he came through. Christensen's a bit older, but yes, yeah, but he's still. And Billy Gilmore's gone out on Billy, loan. Billy Gilmore. That's well. That's I don't a, mind them. I don't mind the loans. The loan can work. The loan the system is there to be. But it yeah. has to have an end goal. Yeah. When yep. you, if mm. you're taking, if you're getting all these players, top players, by the way, mm. um, and they're going out for experience. That's brilliant. Mm. But they've got to have an end goal where they come back and they know they might have a chance of getting back in the team, mm. not going out on loan mm. just to be on show and then getting sold. That is the problem that I have with it. Um, but you never know. There might be um, a, a, a method to method to the madness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just can't see it at the moment. Okay. Oh eight seven one seven double two double three double four. Does it does it matter if if the club wins silverware? So on my timeline, I follow a lot of Chelsea fans, and today a lot of people have been upset, disappointed, whatever you want to call it. That Lewis Bate was allowed to leave. He signed for, for Leeds, and I wish him all the best. But he follows Gerhi and Tamora. He was allowed to leave earlier. I have to say, there's there's a part of me that is disappointed that, that, that Chelsea Academy players have had to move on to further their career. Unfortunately, that is life in football at the very highest level. If you can't find your place and certainly the club are prepared to spend, spend money and bring other players in, then unfortunately you have to go and further, further your career elsewhere. Tammy Abraham, it feels a little bit like he's in that similar kind of position. But does it matter if your side bring in trophies that continually win silverware like Chelsea have? Or would you like to see those young players given more of an opportunity? 08717 You are listening to the Sports Bar here. Carlton Cole, Jason Cunney and our friends at Bet365. The Sports Bar with Andy Goldstein and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday night from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.